Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 3 of our Castlevania Curse of Darkness playthrough. So let's continue. We just defeated the, the Wyvern boss here in the Belgian Mountains. So let's see which side, this side. So we finally now can check <laughs> our charts. So we can check where the evolution of our Innocent Devils are going. I still call them familiar, but you know. So that's always getting some extra cash. Uh, wrong side. <laughs> that happened. Yes. Okay. So this is the first map that we got that is like heavily incomplete. We have like, I don't know, like 86% or something? Yes. So we have a lot of work to do here, but to do that we mostly need the, the flying innocent devil, which I'm still not sure if it's like a, a falcon or an eagle or a phoenix or something like that. I still didn't haven't like stolen any items from this lizard man. Probably they will give me extra jet flags, but we'll see. But as I said, I need to try to do this while not using the golem. But the idea in the game obviously is to rotate between all the familiars so everybody can get XP, right? Okay, so the entrance. So as I said, I still don't like the fact that we don't get loot after killing bosses. That's not cool, man. Oh, my favorite stage. There you go. Got it about the temple. But we we are still not in the temple yet, obviously. I'm so glad I chose to switch the end attack button from like, it's not called end attack, it's called like uh, final attack, which is the combo finisher, right? So one, two, three, very good. I'm really glad I switched to triangle because I'm way more used to it. So it flows way better. So every time we see a new enemy, I'm going to try to steal from it. Trouble is, not all enemies are like have a, an easy setup. So as I said before, I think the perfect guard probably plays a part in like allowing you to steal from certain enemies. You know, this is another problem too. The lock-on system is kind of inconsistent. So I use the lock-on system here to lock on the arrow guy. But it locked on the enemy behind me because it was closer. But it was behind me, so I hadn't seen the enemy yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Oh. Rosario. Sure. So I'm guessing these are the the uh, temple steps. As I said, the main problem in a Castlevania 3D game is actually up, looking up. So this is the max that my camera moves up, like right here. So I don't necessarily can see. So I don't know if there's a, like a place in which I need to use the flying familiar for, you know? Oh my god, this place might be a problem. Let's start using the familiar skills to help me out here. I still haven't stolen any item from this genie yet. Or elemental. Uh, reset the camera, he's on guard. For some reason. 
So, is this the place I need to enter? Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I think this place is closed. I remember that there's like a, an infinite... There's a, one stage that is called like infinite corridors, I'm pretty sure. I do remember it. And I also remember that, that there's like a tower that you need to like climb a bunch of floors, like a lot of floors, without dying, I think. But I'm actually not sure if this is it. Might be, but right now I can't enter it. I might need to like get an item or press a, a lever somewhere. You know? Come on, Golem Kun. Keep going. Oh. There you go. I've been waiting for you, Hector. Devil Forge Master. How do you know me? Who are you? Saint Germain. I won't bandy words with you. I have an urgent request. Please, refrain from pursuing Isaac any further. Bastard! So you're with Isaac! But that does not follow. Isaac wishes to fight me. For what purpose do you make this request? This will not make sense to you, but to put it simply, I seek to maintain the flow of greater will. This is pointless. Out of my way! Your beloved was killed on false allegations that she was a witch. I know how you feel, and I sympathize truly, but please... Wretch! Your own how do you know of these things? That... I cannot tell. I know far more than you imagine. But I cannot act upon that knowledge. That is my... <laughs> arrangement. I may only observe. I, I have no choice but to excuse myself. Please, consider my request. The world hangs in the balance. Goodbye. Well, he just told you, <laughs> Saint Germain. So another player that we need to uh, be worried about during our adventures here. So he works for a higher power. So frankly, I do remember the character. I don't remember who he works for or who he actually is. So I know if it, he works for like God or death. For Dracula? I don't know. Apparently not for Isaac. So we'll see. This is one of those teleporters, right? Yeah. So this is one of the differences between uh, this Castlevania and other Castlevania from the past. Uh, obviously using the timing that this one was published, right? So how it was before. This one is way more like story heavy. So there's a bunch of cutscenes, a bunch of characters. Okay, so before we go, let's see if I can combine something new here. Maybe not. Uh, I'm already using this one. Yes, so I'm going to sit my uh, golem and I'm going to summon the fairy so we can spread out a little bit of the the XP there's a dog uh, barking nearby here I don't know if the microphone is catching it hopefully not this is the best theme song in the entire history of the franchise in my opinion it works so well so let's go. My god, what an entrance. <laughs> so let's see if I can steal from this guy here. Oh, I need to wait for the attack, okay. I need to wait a little bit. Actually, let me kill the big guy. Let's just leave the one guy here. Oh, steal. New material. So new combinations probably are going to be available. Ah. 
Okay, with this guy down, I should be able to steal. Come on. Come on. I'm too close, I think. Oh, there you go. Oh, sure, sure. This is one of those that I need to defend first. So let him come. I'll defend and then I'll try to steal. I don't think he needs to be like a perfect guard. Oh, I see. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I'm using the wrong command. I've been trying this entire time to steal. But actually, that's not the button I'm always using. New combination, so let's see. Mace, plus 25. This is probably way better than what I have. Uh, Mace, yes, 34. Is a difference uh, material from the one I'm using. So she already has ah, just 11, so I think it's fine to switch to a different material here. So I need to remember which is the, the button for stealing. Triangle, sure. Mace is weird. <laughs> it is less of an attack and more of a like a one like a type of air vibration, so to speak. So it just like forces the air out. Okay. Alright, so which side? I don't think it matters. Probably the sides are symmetrical. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are the flea mans. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Good old flea mans. Oh, the fairy is using all of her skills because I put her on auto, so she's using everything. Auto apparently is pretty bad. Jesus, there's a lot of these guys. I need to isolate one so I can try to steal. There you go, there you go. Oh, gold, okay. Alright, so gold doesn't help a whole lot because I can just farm it, you know. Okay. My god, is there like a generator? Gauntlet style here? Probably not. There's a lot of these guys. I love the motifs of this. Obviously, it's a chapel, so you would expect a bunch of angels and saints and all that stuff. Oh, so there's like some skulls. Looks really cool. Hmm, I don't know if I should go back now. Let's just keep going. Then go back later. Oh, not auto. Jesus. Almost did the same thing again. Let's start guessing the geometry of the place here. So it's going to probably go outwards for a bit. Then when we reach the other side, it's going to the paths are going to converge in the center probably. We'll see. Another ticket. I need to find another teleporter. We found one. So we need another one to start using it. 
Ah, the flea man. Their attack is almost perfect. Meaning they are designed in a way to kinda always hit you. You feel like you can dodge, but when they like they are really close, then you are like, oh man, I can't dodge it. They like jump the, the perfect height and the perfect distance, you know, to be annoying. Just like the fleet man from uh, Symphony of the Night, you know. Oh, so this is just a, a random room that just locks you in with enemies, okay. Uh, left. Oh, these guys actually do a pretty decent amount of them. Poison powder. Okay. Time heal and then... So is she going to use it on them? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't seem to be an activated skill. Yeah, there you go, she used it. So yeah, she finally got an offensive skill, actually. For a change. Okay, so we'll just let's go back to the other side. Uh weird. So probably we are going to have to traverse mostly through the middle of the map here. So give me some more healing for now. Ah, the flea man. Oh, they kind of spawn out of nowhere. <laughs> they just show up. Kind of like that theory that one of those famous like biology scientists from old they had of like creatures like spontaneously uh, coming into life. I forgot the name of the theory. Actually, I don't know the name of the theory in English, right? But it's like if you leave something uh, rotten inside like a glass box and that will like force like mosquitoes and things like that to appear out of nowhere. So spontaneously, instead of like being a natural process, you know. That's basically how <laughs> spawning works in basically most video games, right? Just out of nowhere. But it's funny when there's a game that like shows you the spawning in your face. Like, it's like kind of a Immersion breaking, you know. Let's check this one. This one's probably one of those rooms that are is just going to lock us in. All oh, right. So I wanted to steal from all these guys, but if I do that, I'm probably going to die here. The one thing I don't like about the mace or the the axes is that they are kind of slow. They are strong, but they are very slow, so... And having the speed to dodge is basically as important as doing damage. As I said before, it's more of a, like a stylistic, like playstyle choice, than necessarily what gives more damage, or what does more damage, you know? This looks very cool. I like this a lot. Reminds, uh, actually, it's kind of a fusion of two places in Symphony of the Night: the gallery, uh, the marble gallery, I think it's called the stage, and uh, the actual chapel. 
There's a chap on that game too, the one with the huge stairs. This this one guy is very easy to steal from. Yeah. With the faster weapons you can like interrupt your combo and just defend if you need to. Not going to the second floor yet. But with these this lower, more impactful ones, you, you just have to wait for the combo to finish. Oh, there you go. But we're going to heal anyway because of the save point here. I guess. Uh, okay. So as always, choosing different save slots. Okay, so let's go. Oh. Why does some song stop for some reason? Oh, I know this guy. This one is a complete homage to that boss in the Orox Quarters in Symphony of the Night. It has almost the same design. Oh, I see. Come on. <laughs> my orientation was wrong, but my guess was right. He has to, like, lunge forward first. Knight's Vein is probably new material. I don't know why I put an H on material there. <laughs> it's material. Ah, flea man. Just the, the bane of my existence. At least give me some gold. Yeah, they are really rough to fight when you fight with a heavy weapon. Just very annoying. Yeah, I'm not going to do both sides yet. We probably have to work my way around. But this combo right here is amazing. Probably the best combo so far. It's very easy. It's like square, square, triangle. That's it. You know, nothing fancy. And it works a lot. But the enemy has to be in the right position. And the main problem is that you open yourself to attacks. Because you have to wait for the mace to come back, you know? But that's okay. As I said, I'm not a fan of defending at all. That's why I take a lot of damage. He's trying to steal. This is like a courtyard or something. I can't see if there's like a nice sky above us, so I don't know if this is open. Should be because of the makeup of the, the soil here, but maybe not. Oh, so they keep spawning. I see. So this guy right here is very annoying to fight with a heavy weapon, my god. Because they change their, their orientation and you just can't change your orientation on your combo during certain attacks, especially the finishers. Um, Alright, since we're already here, let's just complete this entire section here. To avoid having to return. And it's basically the same format for everything here. If you can get them like in the corner like this, this is amazing. But if you can't, it's just pain the ass. But as I said, I'm going to kill as many enemies as possible. Give me that XP, give me the, the crystals. There's no point in rushing. I don't think it helps a whole lot. Ah, come on. Thank you. So heal me a little bit. 
I'm actually going to use a time heal here. Just to see if it's better. So when I come back, they will respawn, but obviously I'm not going to kill them a second time. I still need to steal from this guy at least once to see what he has. Alright, so I need to... There you go. Holy man, Sven. Alright, so let's check these materials here. I'm still using the TH for some reason. So I need two short swords. Spear. I can create one. Oh, that's very interesting. Let's see. Uh, a lance. Okay. Uh, new helmet. I just need to create one leather helmet. Here. There you go. So what can we do here? Gallic helmet. Okay. And armor, I just need two steels. That's it. And I also have a new sword, some more knight's vein, okay. So let's equip the, the helmet. Ooh, way better. Not a whole lot of accessories uh, yet. Yeah, so we're doing well here. So other side. So the main problem is going to be, uh, so she has 18 of the the axe shards. Let me check with my other guy here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is not summoning, this is like if I'm giving them the shards or not, right? Ah, I see, I see. So if that blue thingy is on uh, the crosshairs there. That means that they are getting the shards. And I can just simply avoid giving them shards that I don't want. To avoid them like evolving in a way that I didn't plan, you know? That's probably the idea. So the main problem here is going to be uh, keeping up. So this one has 21 of the, the sword shards. Oh, the X shards also count, but I'm guessing they don't like accumulate, so it's not a plus minus situation. I think you need to have exactly 70 of one type. So for this particular situation here, I'm going to actually switch my weapon off and I'm going to use my sword again to keep uh, giving him the, the exact shards that I need, you know? Which is fine, the sword's not bad. It's actually better against this particular enemy here. The problem with the golem, obviously, is stealing. It's rough, because he, he attacks everything, unless you put him on guard, you know? But why would you do that, you know? Uh, okay, going. Oh, new enemy. Kind of a different version of this, the enemy we've been fighting before. Yeah, to try to steal, I'm going to need to keep the, the golem on guard. But this is probably one of those that requires a perfect guard. So let's try. Let's see if I can. Oh, that was a good one, but another good one. I probably need to like force him to attack a certain way to be able to steal, you know. But all right, whatever. Uh, come on, dude. Let's keep going. That's kind of an interesting dynamic for a Castlevania game. It's kind of a strategic twist to it. The same way that the stealing thing can be a curse because most players will try to steal everything from everybody. It also can be kind of a blessing because every enemy is going to have a different pattern. 
or at least every enemy type we're going to have a pattern you know oh this one doesn't open in uh, how do i zoom this one doesn't open in the middle here hmm. let me think yeah probably it's going to be a, a whole bunch of squares on the other side too so i'll just keep going then later we'll come back to complete the map Okay. Rough spot. Oh, the golem is very powerful, Jesus. Very, very strong. I don't remember. I know that there's like, obviously, there's a fairy, there's the golem. Uh, where are the enemies? Oh, oh, I see. Let's try to steal from him. Too. The golem is busy with the other one. Oh, almost. Perfect guard, come on. There you go. My man. Worked. So I'm going to put the golem on guard so I can steal from the other ones. Oh, this one is busy with the golem for some reason. Oh, so I can only steal from him if he does the attack on me, apparently. That's an interesting way of doing it. So actually, real quick, I'm going to, uh, what's the button here, send back, yeah, that's what I'm most trying to do, I'm going to send him back just to try to steal from this guy here, oh, okay, oh, the distance was poorly calculated that time. But I like this enemy a lot. Forces you to move around a lot. It has a bunch of different attacks. Oh, that was so close. There you go. Slightly annoying, but I need a fairy here anyway, so let's summon her. For her, obviously, I will. I need to switch the weapon, but I'm not going to keep her like right now. Come on, open the thing here. Thank you. So what's this? Ceremonial tool, an amber active artifact used in our ancient rituals. Ancient weapons is said to be made from this. Okay, so probably one of those things that we need to gather a bunch of pieces to craft it. You know. Let's just heal a little bit here, since the fairy is here anyway. Okay, so now we can summon going back. Alright, now st I'm starting to get used to it. Oh, I see. Interesting, so this is not the, the place we progress. Uh, other side. Very interesting layout this play pad. Oh yeah, let's see if I can combine something else. Right? Uh, Lorica, I don't know how to pronounce that. Need more steel. Uh, knuckles. Sure. Not like I'm going to use them, but... Ooh, that's a lot of new swords. Clearly I'm going to need extra short swords here, just as a material, to do some extra, not do, make some extra weapons. So let's just do that for now. So let's see if I can equip this thing here. Yeah, it's better than the one we have. There you go. I like crafting a lot too, to be honest, it's a very interesting way to you are going to get like regular uh, items, just like by opening chests and stuff. But most of the things that I think are going to be, you are going to actually get by combining materials, which is a very good system. I like it a lot. I don't know why I'm killing these guys, by the way. 
I forgot that we are retracing here. We need to go through that door right there, on the other side. <sighs> they changed the song, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> Just because we finally reached the place that has the best song. They changed the soundtrack. Awesome. Alright. I'm going to try to deal with this guy later. Oh. The knight is the easiest enemy to steal from. It's absolutely impressive. You can steal from them like most of the time you are fighting. Oh, he kills the guy. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen, but... Oh, can I break this? Maybe the familiar can? Oh, he's breaking stuff on the other side. Alright, this is clearly a passage, right? Maybe I'm not getting the angle uh, correct. Let's try to relocate the familiar a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, so I don't think these are the skills that we're going to need. Maybe we need to evolve him to like get a skill that... Just like Captain America, the shield up, then you run and break something, you know? Like Marvel vs. Captain, do you remember that game? So let's just summon the fairy back. Let's see if she can do something here. I don't think so, but hey. If she can't, we are going to have to go to the other side, which is okay. Yeah, no. I need to find a, a safe spot because I can't use her not, uh, right now. She's way too low on health. Okay, so... Since we can't open this side, we need to go to the other side. This map is actually huge. It doesn't look like it, but it actually is. get the, the uh, Rosario only <laughs> when there's no enemy to kill, you know? Kind of annoying. There's that game uh, Vampire Survivors, which is the, the roguelike, I don't even know how to explain type of game. The one that was extremely successful uh, last year that has like a lot of like motifs and a lot of visual similarities to Symphony of the Night obviously the main uh, inspiration for that game and in that game there's also a uh, Rosario but in that game it actually helps a lot <laughs> It clears the screen, you know. It's one of those games that spawns a lot of enemies, like waves and waves of enemies for like 30 minutes. Oh, they return to life. Ah, it's because there's one of those best uh, pesky mages here. Come on. Oh, they actually drop some fire bombs. It's interesting. Oh, there's another one. My god, these guys are so annoying. <laughs> they are very hard to fight, actually. Because they... They actually dodge uh, backwards. So you have to move a lot to be able to fight them. Come 
on. Thank you. So, if this is not the place we need to go, we are going to have to go to the, the second floor. It's kind of difficult to tell where the passages are because the map gets kind of clunky in the emulator. So sometimes it's just a, a wave in the line, not necessarily a passage, you know. There you go. Is this a passage? Uh, I guess not. We'll see. Where's the guy? Come on. Oh, I was going to use the skill here, but I need to deal with these people first. People is a very <laughs> kind way of saying it. Oh, come on. I wish there was a way to keep them, like, passive, you know? The only way to keep this guy passive is basically keep him guarding. That's not great. Not exactly what I wanted. The reason why I'm killing this guy is because I need to test if there's like a passage here. What about the hit press? Well, he dropped his butt right in the middle. Zangief style. So I'm guessing there's nothing here. Alright, so now the fairy can heal. Always saving. We still haven't found a chair for this stage yet. If you remember, we have been finding, finding chairs all over the castle. I don't know if that means anything, but we'll be looking for chairs in this stage too. I'm guessing since it's a, a temple, it might be like a pew or something, you know? Oh, finally we're back. Oh, very... Oh! Evolution. Oh, he actually produced an, an egg. Take this devil charge to the shop, and through the process of devil forging, a new innocent devil can be created. Great. So the bas basically the idea of this game is you have several different versions of the same. Uh, familiar. Oh, cool. And you use them for different tasks and different situations, you know. Lesser demon. So I need to learn how to steal from this guy. Let's complete this side first. But it looks very cool, the model for the, the lesser D. Mostly because we have been fighting so long. <laughs> All types of like skeletons and zombies and things like that. Oh, almost. Guard, please. Yeah, I need to... Oh! I understand now, so... The Golem's Guard needs to be renewed. Because he suffers the attacks and the, the circle gets smaller. Alright, that is actually a very annoying attack to deal with. For stealing. He needs to, like, lunge. I need to be very close to him. Come on. Oh, that's the attack. But that's very annoying to do. My god. The very specific timing that you need to have here. For that to work.
and this enemy is actually not that strong. So you definitely need to try it without having the golem, you know. Problem is the golem is actually a great uh, bait. Oh, I think he was going to do the attack there and I just didn't let him. Oh, ah, damn it. For this one, I do, I do need to guard or maybe dodge one of the two. Probably dodge. Hopefully it's not like anything. Oh, I should have used steel there. Okay, so where are we going? Hmm. Alright, let's go to this side first. So I'm guessing the only part of this map that's actually like uh, symmetrical probably is the church part, not the the rest of the map. Okay, so for this guy, I'm actually going to need to keep the golem on guard, otherwise I'm not going to be able to even try to go for a steal. Alright, so let's try to understand here. So not yet. This guy is actually quite passive. Oh, I saw something there. Yeah, some of these guys are just way too annoying. Oh, and he drops the good stuff too. The one we actually need. Uh, I need actually two steals for this one. New sword. <laughs> the bamboo sword. Awesome. Oh, Ada. Interesting. That used the, the ceremonial tool, so I guess it's just a, a random material, hopefully. Oh, so we actually can use this with the golem. Oh, this is one of the fast ones to choose. No, it's not. It's one of the heavy ones. <laughs> it's just small, like the fast ones, but it's not necessarily what I needed. Come on. Oh, I see. So he has to launch. But you need to learn how to trigger this attack first, right? Oh, did this golem just use the, the Russian dance again? <laughs> I wish I knew how to... Jesus! That's brutal. We know what it's before, the, the Russian dance in the last episode. I don't know how to trigger the, the whole... Sending the sword away thing. So. No point in even trying to force it. But 100 gold is a very, very good value to steal. Alright. We haven't been getting a whole lot of crystals, to be honest. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I need a, an extra skill or an extra passive like ability to get more crystals. Oh, I see. So it's already looping. I hope <laughs> there's not like a passage in that section because I wasn't even paying attention to the, the walls, which is actually very important. Oh no. That's like a Kamehameha. The, the attack from Goku. From Dragon Ball Z. I know you guys say like Kamehameha or something like that. That's bullshit. That's not how, to, how you pronounce that. Okay. 
Man, I like this a lot. There's the light coming in and all that stuff. So, oh, this is actually already the boss. Such a weird place for the boss to be. But this is different than what, what I was visualizing. So as you can see, we followed the path here from that uh, first save to the, the area with the bunch of squares. Then we just follow the entire path to here. But man, we are not even 50% of completion. That's crazy. Which means there's a, probably a bunch of floors. We need to go to the second floor and then start working our way uh, up. But I'm glad there's a save here. <laughs> For sure. If I knew this was going to be the map, I should have like used one of those tickets. On one of the earlier saves, you know. But that's okay. There's a lot of walking involved in this game anyway, so... I don't know if this is a good idea to use the golem in the boss here, but I don't even remember what boss it is, so... I'm pretty sure it's not Isaac. <laughs> That's the one thing I can say. Oh, that's really cool. Wait! That crest! Oh, Belmont. Are you the Devil Forge Master? That whip... Could he be... Answer me! Are you the Devil Forge Master? I am. Then this is the hour of your death. Yeah, that's that's a Belmont right there. I can definitely spot a Belmont when I see one. Jesus, what's that? I don't think I will be able to steal anything from this guy. By the way, I'm just locking him into to see where he's at, basically. The corner strategy is not good. Very stylish uh, whip. Man, I'm not doing any damage to this guy. At all. Not even close. Oh, he has a lot of hit points. My god. That's insane. Just... I'm guessing this fight probably doesn't go all the way. I don't think we are going to kill a Belmont right now. This guy might become a, an ally later. He's clearly looking for Isaac, not us. Okay, we need to switch. Oh, that's a huge combo, my god. Maybe this is not a place for us to be right now, meaning this is not a fight we are supposed to have right now. We'll see. He defends from his back too. <laughs> Same way I wore his style. Rough. Alright, let's use a potion. Not that the, the damage is terrible. I think we are not supposed to do a whole lot of damage to this guy. Yeah, that that combo is brutal. The one with the kicks. Not a whole lot I can do about it. That one is <laughs> absolutely brutal. Really bad. 
Actually, let's let's. I'm going to let this guy kill me just to see. If that's the point of this fight or not? No. Your evil power can't beat me. Oh. So yeah, evil power, huh? So I don't know if I'm supposed to kill this guy or even fight him right now. So uh, that's the boss fight. So we clearly cannot take this guy on yet. This is our uh, second best weapon, I think. No, this is actually our best weapon. Oh, no. The mace is better by two points. <laughs> but that's not going to be enough. Maybe we need to get him to like half health exactly. But I don't think we are going to be able to kill this guy right now at all. But probably that's the point. Uh, we can also create new knuckles. Special. Cool. So we need a little bit more materials. So yeah, we clearly cannot fight this guy right now. It's not even a question. The question is why? So are we too weak? Did we need to take the, the left to the, to the... No, take the right to the second floor instead of coming here? I don't know. What I'm going to do actually... I think it's a good idea. I'm going to actually register this save right here. And I'm going to simply uh, abandon this boss <laughs> for now. So I need to come in again, right? It's kind of annoying. I should have done this before. So there you go. All right, now we're good. So the idea is I'm going to go back. I'm going to complete the rest of the stage. I'm going to see if I miss something. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to kill this guy right now. I just don't have the damage. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it keeps sapping you. And he just have a colossal health pool. So maybe there's like a specific weapon that I need to have. Because he's a Belmont, so he's like... Holy type of guy. Obviously he's using the Holy Whip, the Holy Water and all that stuff. So maybe if we get like a dark weapon or something like that, we might be able to do like double or triple damage or something like that. So that's the plan for the next episode. I'm going to leave this boss uh, B for now. I'm going to complete that small section in the middle. And then we are going to go back all the way to the, the stairs. And we'll see if we can proceed uh, that way. So uh, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.